Hey guys, I did a video earlier on Facebook and somebody asked the question, what are the upgrades that will get you the most bang for your buck? So I'm gonna give you two different answers. The first answer is I'm gonna tell you all the things that I typically recommend with the caveat that it depends on everybody's situation, what your budget is and also what your home style is. And then I'm gonna tell you the way that we do it at the Mayor Group and how that's advantageous for our clients. So the answer is that most of the time, and this is a generalized statement and that's the only answer I can give on this video, kitchens, master bathrooms, and decor so in the kitchen I know a lot of times when I go on a listing appointment people are like well we know our kitchen needs updating but we don't really have the money for it at the mayor group we have a contractor that'll do uh, granite countertops on average between two thousand and twenty five hundred dollars and they look fantastic so I almost always recommend if you have for Micah countertops and you have a little bit of money to invest that is where I would definitely invest your money when I spoke to my appraiser and asked him how much on average the difference between Formica countertops and granite countertops is in Southern Maryland on the average house he said it was about ten thousand dollars so right there you have a four or five fold return on your money but more importantly it'll get the buyer excited about the house one thing to know guys is that most buyers don't have a lot of money when they buy a house they've already spent all their money on their down payment or moving or selling their house and if you um, sell them the house that needs a lot of upgrades they're not going to get as excited about it so they're not going to give you as high of an offer and they're also going to multiply all the things that they feel that they need to do by a factor two four six ten so if they think that those countertops cost ten thousand dollars and they're going to take that off the price and they're also just not going to be as excited about it and in reverse if you have done these things, it then gets the buyers excited about it and they're willing to spend the most money. So just to kind of rattle off a couple, granite countertops are huge. I know a lot of people don't want to do it, but if you could do it for $2,000, you should. Um, cabinet pulls on cabinets is big. A lot of times people don't even have them. You can get them for $2 a piece. Another big one is door handles. A lot of people have brass door handles. And what we recommend is on amazon.com, either the brushed nickel or the rubbed bronze paddle handles, the kind that you have to you know, turn with your hand like this. You can get them for like $17 a piece. If you have 20 of them, you know, three, $350 on Amazon, you can get all those. And yes, you should do the hinges. I know everybody's gonna ask that question. They're like 250 a piece. So guys, for $20 a piece, you could do, you know, the door handles and the door and just, it adds a lot of pop, especially when you're taking pictures of like a hallway or you're just walking through the house. Just keep in mind that when someone's inside your house, they touch all your door handles. So a front doorknob is another one that we recommend people do. Also painting your front door. And then let's talk about the master bathroom. We recommend that everybody gets a shower curtain. A lot of times like, you know, your shower curtain's a little dated or you have one in the kids' bathroom. Amazon.com, $15, $20, you get a really nice designer shower curtain, you put it in there. Or we're talking about doing some flooring. One of the things that we're doing right now in our house, as a matter of fact, is we're doing um, engineered vinyl planking and engineered vinyl tile. These are the click and lock floating floor. It's three, four, five dollars a square foot. You can put that down over top of tile, um, over top of existing linoleum in some cases, and it's a really durable waterproof solution that is going to add a huge pop to your house. We just sold a house in Huntington where they had a black and white checkered kitchen floor we had them put in a real nice gray vinyl tile and it just it just had a great pop to it so those are the things we recommend the most now i'm going to tell you how we do it and what the number one thing to spend money on is if you're not working with us and you're watching this video on the internet somewhere and that would be to hire a home staging consultant that is going to be your biggest best money spent in this entire process to come to your house and tell you all the things that you could and should do. And at the Mayor Group, we pay for that for all of our clients. We make sure that our home staging consultant comes in. And the goal here is, and, and the purpose of this is, the person that you're selling your house to and many times is not the same demographic as the person selling the house. There's a reason why new construction uh, when they sell their houses they buy super expensive fancy furniture and they put you know all this stuff everywhere it's because 
when you walk into one of those houses, you get a feeling of, wow, this is so beautiful. If you take all that stuff out of there, it just, the house doesn't look anywhere near the same. When you're hiring us as, our, as your real estate agent, you're paying us an exorbitant amount of money to tell you all the things that you could and should do. You don't have to do them, but that's what you're paying us for, and we feel obligated to tell you all the things you could and should do to get the most money. If you'd like some more tips on how to get your house ready to sell or selling your house for the most money or how we do things different at the Mayor Group, make sure you check out my website, homesellingadvice.net. And by the way, if you have questions about being a real estate agent, buying a house, selling a house, anything real estate related, feel free to put a comment under this post and I'll do a video on your question. I'd love to hear from you. My name is Brian Mayer. Make it a great day.